Kiss 105.3 and 1340, where hip hop and RB lives. This is D Sewell, the Wolf of Dixon. Y'all, this is episode number three of Ahead of the Curve. I told y'all how we doing this year. We have a new segment where I'm trying to find artists that I think will really have a huge 2019. We started with Millie Go Lightly. Then uh, the second week, we had Ozzy Young, Grammy Award winning writer. This week, we got McMahon Succeed Fly Guy. He is from Fort Smith. He is currently in Las Vegas killing it. What's up, Succeed? Hey now, hey now. What's <laughs> going on with my guy, guy? Man, it is yeah. all good, Succeed. We appreciate you, man. Like I told you, this is a new segment we're doing. You are actually the third interview for this. Succeed, I think you're going to have a big year this year, and you have a big single, and that's why I got you here today. <laughs> Man, you know, third time's a charm, baby. Yeah, we're going to work it. We're I already we know. know. <laughs> I already know. Succeed, let's get started from the start, man. Before we get to the big single, I want to let everybody know your beginnings and then kind of the people that you work with, because I know a lot of people ain't going to believe that, and uh, some of your crazy experiences that, that, that we could talk about on radio. All right, we're going to get into yeah. all of that. <laughs> That part, you know, we'll keep everything else, but I'm wrong. Yeah, that part. So, nah, man, you know, uh, oh. born and raised, born and raised in Fort Smith, man. I've been, I've been doing music all my life. Everybody know that. So, yeah, I, um, I left when I got out of high school, came to Fayetteville for a minute, and yeah, became the party man of the town in Fayetteville. For sure. And I ended up going to Dallas. I get a record deal in Dallas. And that led me to L.A. and Vegas, which led me to New York and went on tour with Nas. You already know me and Nas. Shout out Nas, Queensbridge. It's always love over there. They show me mad love. So, yeah, after I got off tour with Nas, you know, I went to New Orleans. i always been a traveling dude. I, I'm born and raised in uh, Arkansas. I always loved it and I always wanted everybody from everywhere in the world to know, like, yeah, man. I'm from Arkansas and I'm out here in your city. Yes. So, yeah, I did. I did a lot of traveling. Like, I, I went on tour with Nas on the Hip Hop Is Dead tour when he signed with Jay yeah, back yeah. in 06. And that was really when I really got serious with my music. And then, Currency, I ended up uh, going to New Orleans, met Currency. Me and Currency um, really linked together. And Currency took me on tour. He signed me. I uh, lived in New Orleans for two years, actually stayed with Currency in his house for like a year and some change. And yeah, I always had my uh, my own label. I always had my own shit I was pushing, my own things I was pushing and like, yeah. That is I got I ended up getting it right. So that was that was Fly Guy Society. I did my label in, in like 08. Then I signed the Currency in, in 2010. And that lasted about two years. And then I just like, yeah, we, we parted ways. And, you know, I, I gained a lot of knowledge and understanding about the industry. And I really like currency really taught me how to be professional in the studio and how to really like, yeah, tone into my lane and the person I am. So after I really got around like real professional, it was just like, yeah, all you had, all you had to do is give me the sauce. And you know how it is. You know how Arkansas do it. It's like, Run once with you it. give it to us, yeah, it ain't gonna be nothing but, yeah, turned into greatness. So I, I just, know. I just pushed it. And we here now, man. Like, you already know what the, what the, my, like, current past, all my, like, present is. So you know what it went to. So we're gonna get into that. But yeah, like, I just, I had to be recognized. Man. You know what I mean? So, like, I went everywhere I had to go, whatever dollar I had. If, if there was something going on with a major artist, I got that. Succeed. And, yep, they noticed me. I'm going to tell you what, Succeed. I was actually going to end with this question, but I'm going to ask you this now. If you never left Arkansas, do you think you would have been where you at now and had the opportunities that you had now? Just from saving up, like traveling on the weekend and stuff like that. Do you think and you could? I can say this, man. Ain't no, there's no way. Like, I. I, I'm, I'm gonna say this about the town. I, I love you know me, and we we don't know each other for a sec now, so you already know how I feel about my city and my state. Oh, like yeah. I love it, but we we're, we're not a hip hop industry based state. So like, it, 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 for what it takes for you to do music, nah, you 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 gotta leave. You actually gotta leave. Like I hate to say that, but. I'm trying to change that because, like, with everything pop off for me the way it's supposed to pop off, 
and that's gonna be in 2019. Like I'm bringing everything back to the state and to the city. Like Fort Smith, Fayetteville, that's that's my town. That's I got a lot of love there. Everybody loved me in the state. Everybody messed with my music. So you know, like it just we ain't never had an artist like that really took off. Like so, yeah. I, I there's no way. There's no way I would have been where I'm at right now. No, there's no way. I, I had to do that. Like Nas wasn't coming to Arkansas um, <laughs> and, and meet nobody. Terrence he wasn't coming to Arkansas and meet nobody like that. They come do shows. Yeah, they'll come rock out. But as far as like really getting to know them, no. Nah. So sure. everybody, I can say this. Like everybody that I met, like when I met Nas and I was there, that's what intrigued him. When I told him I was from Fort Smith, Arkansas, and he, he went and did his background, he really came to me like, dog, how the hell did you get to New York City? <laughs> he, he was like, man, and I was like, music. I was like, dog, I was like, I, you rap about Queensbridge. Just where you from. I had to come see this. And he was just, he was more mesmerized at the fact that he had fans in this small little area that he didn't know too much or nothing about that, yeah, he he was more like spiked up about that than I was about meeting him. And then when he heard me rap, he was like, "Wait a minute, it's really tough." I'm like, "Dog, I'm not even the nicest out of my city, man." I'm like, it's, "I got a lot of homies that I feel like go even harder than me." I just you ain't you ain't never been there. And he respected it. And he took me on tour just because you was so on the like, grind and he could see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that that be the thing about it. Like when you from a city, when you from a town that ain't known for hip hop. Like in the in the whole like in the whole United States, you gotta go let people know that hey we out here and sure. like you can't do that by like sitting in the house or sitting down the street or going two hours away. No, you gotta go. And I, I like I miss my kids growing up. Like you know I miss I took a lot of sacrifices and everything. But at the end of the day, where my life is now, where my career is, I love it. And I appreciate everything I did, and I appreciate my family and friends that stood beside me and understood the the journey that I had to take and fully fully respected it. So straight yeah, up. man, and we almost here now. We we right at the door. So. <laughs> straight up, yeah. straight up. See you doing your thing. That's one thing that I do admire about you, my man. You leaped, you did it, and actually you out there. You know what I'm saying? Touring, trying to figure it out, working with different artists, and that's one thing that I did want to talk about. Uh, I know a lot of people don't know this about you, but one thing that I do give you credit for, Succeed, you keep your ear to the street. You always working with the young talent that's coming up. I done seen you work with uh, OMB Peasy, and now you got the new single with Stunner for Vegas and the Baby. Kind of speak on that, you know, about you know keeping up with what with what's in today. Man, hey, I, I, this is one thing I always told my son I'd never do, man. I, I raised him right, and I told him I'd never front or cap. That's why the single with the baby and stuff is called No Cap Zone. But, man, my, my son helped me with that. Like, he, he ended up graduating last year. You know, shout out my shout out my boy, Zaranji. He go by Toby. But, yeah, that's my boy. But um, he graduated, and his graduation present, he didn't know what he wanted, man. And I sent, I sent him a ticket to come out to Vegas and live with me, and he be on it like you know they they, they, they he 18 so he on all the new dances mm -hmm. and he don't really like like already industry music he like knowing like that was one thing we had in common we like knowing who gonna be up next yeah and he man he was on it he was on him <laughs> about four four five months ago he was like hey daddy check this cat out and man we listened to him and looked at a few videos and i was just like yeah he's nice and then he ended up getting into altercation somebody tried to rob him in a walmart in, in charlotte and he ended up getting into altercation and killing the dude inside the walmart yeah so it was self-defense he got out of it but after that man i really followed him i tapped in with him and yeah i guess he checked my page out because it, it probably took me tapping in with him about three or four times but i tapped in with him he was in they was in um i think they was in phoenix one time they was in atlanta and then i tapped in with him in uh in um, L.A. They was in L.A. And when I tapped in in L.A., he was just like, uh, his manager in his back was like, man, what's up? Um, I was like, man, I'm in Vegas. He was like, man, we wouldn't mind doing the feature, but, man, you all the way in Vegas. So I was like, oh, that's a four-hour trip. 
I will be there at five o'clock. It was like it was like one o'clock. Like I'll be there at five. Um, no problem. Like, uh, yeah, he, and he said, "Man, if you serious," he was like, "Man," and I, I gotta say this because it's mad love. Shout out TG. That's that's their manager. Shout out to Baby. You know, Stunner. Dog. They actually book, they booked the studio time swell, and then they. They stayed an extra day. They canceled their flights. When we finished the song, they liked the song so much. They canceled their flights that they were supposed to fly out that night. And was like, we got our cameraman here. My schedule probably going to be hectic. I'm, I'm going to sign. You know, shit, the thing's going to be popping off. So he said, if you want to, we can do the video right now. And, man, I'm not even going to say online what he charged me, but I can just tell you this. If you're a young artist out there, man, and you're working, or if you if you're an artist and you've been at this for a long time, but you still you still chasing it, man. If you if you out here and you know you grind and stay at it, and, and it's crazy for me to say this to y'all right now, cause I remember just a year ago listening to somebody say "stay at it" and you never know what can happen and all that, and I would just be like, man, and he'd be saying that, but no. Like I was blessed with that feature, man, and they and they respected the grind and really like showed me mad love. Man, so wow. yeah, and the song is hot. Like I say, we shouldn't get into the song, but yeah, the, the song is super hot. It, man, it hell got yeah. out. It's doing cool numbers. Yeah, yeah. Succeed. I need my city. I need my city and state behind. It. Right before we get to the song, it's two important things that you said right there, bro. You said that uh, you had to hit them up three to four times. Because people don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? You got to put your pride to the side. You wanted that feature. So you kept hitting them yeah. up. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. second thing you said, hey, man, you need to get here now if we're going to do it. I'm there. You know, and people don't understand that. Getting up off your ass and going to get it. You know what I'm saying? Them are two important things, dog. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. you see, that's why you where you at. You, you, can't, you can't sit up and ask. You can't sit up and ask for an opportunity, man, and, and get it. And then, oh, well, you know, well, I got to holler at my girl real quick. And I got to take her to work. Bro. And after that, though, you going, yeah, dog, you, you never know what you get. You never know what you not doing. Like, it, say, it takes sacrifices. If anybody don't understand what sacrifice in this game is, man, sit down and have a cup of coffee with me. And I'll let you know some of the things I done did. <laughs> man, <'cause>, man <laughs> it's, it's hectic. But it's worth it. Like, it's, it's really worth it. I love it. Like, man. for real. That is crazy. Succeed, I'm going to tell you straight up, man. Me and you are working on 12 minutes right now, so we got to wrap this thing up. I'm going to tell you what, though. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what we got to do. All right, your next big single. All right, we're going to talk about your single now in just a second. But your next big single, I got to have you on for that interview to introduce that. And we'll get into your crazy stories on the road and all that, all right? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be strong. It's going to be South by Southwest, man. March 12th to the 17th. Yeah, Already. All right, so see, let's talk about this big single, No Cap Zone. Introduce it. We finna play it right now, all right? Yo, Succeed Fly Guy. Y'all know that's how you can catch me on all your social medias. But, yo, featuring to the baby. And it's gonna for Vegas. Yo, No Capping 2019. We ain't doing it no more, man. No Cap Zone. Y'all tell me what you think about it. All righty, y'all. Right now, no cap zone from Succeed Fly Guy. Make sure to check him out. He is killing it right now. No cap zone right here on Kiss 105.3 and 1340.